Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Avenge Sevenfold with 629 rating versus Star STR with 640 rating. So it's going to be another high rated DB video, and hopping right in, we will go ahead and we will see STR decide to go first. Uh, we have 41 versus 40, opening hands, we have Ghost Ogre, Ash Blossom, Engraver, Nightmare Pain, one for one. They have Poly, Patchwork, Master Toe. Lurie and Edge Imp Chain. So we have Chimera going up against U Bell. So I started testing TCG again today, you know, because obviously I was like doing Master Duel things for a while. Uh, and yeah, obviously I got to test a lot more. I'll, a couple hours of testing is not going to tell me for sure, but U Bell is just crazy. This deck is nice. Um, so they're going to go ahead, go main phase, activate Patchwork, and then grab out the Edge Imp Chain plus a Poly from the decks of the hand. And then they're going to go activate Poly, use Edge Imp Chain plus the Master to go ahead and make Performant. And then Performant 1, Edge Imp 2, grab out Patchwork, go ahead and dump from the deck. And then they're just going to dump Evil Hero, Evil Hero Effect, Banish Ghost Summon, bring out the Adjusted Gold. And then they can make Requiem, Requiem Effect. They let that go, they decide to not Ash Blossom that there. Okay, so they're going to go ahead and bring out the Engraver and then Requiem Effect to equip. And then send to bring out the Necro Quip Princess. And then overlay into DDD. So did it like that so that way they can get Engraver into the grave. Sure. Uh, now they're going to go put back Gold. Special Summon out the Engraver. Normal Summon out Lurie. And then they can make Sequence. And then Sequence Effect to go Fuse. Put back Lurie plus Requiem. Bring out Aerial Eater. Aerial Eater to go ahead and dump. Oh, we're going to dump the Diabolical. The Dragon Uke General. So, I'm going to reread over this. I know people were playing this in Magical Musketeer, but now people are trying to splash it in other things too. So, it says, if a fiend monster monsters except for this, the sense of the graveyard by card effect, you can special summon this card from your grave uh, if it was the monster that was sent or hand, even if not, but banish it when it leaves the field. If this card is sent to the graveyard by card effect, you can target a fiend in your graveyard, add it back to hand. Okay, so they're going to dump that and then effect to get to engraver. Then engraver effect, discard, get to tract, and then we can go activate tract to go add and then get rid of the lurry. That's fine. And then lurry effect, special summon itself out. Uh huh. And then lurry plus sequence, make a cross sheep. And then they're going to go activate poly to bring out the magnum, the reliever. And then cross sheep effect, the special back out from the graveyard. Sure. So bring out the master and then magnum the reliever, put back and then draw. So I mean they could have ogred this right because that would uh that would stop the uh like special summon back out, which should stop like SP. Uh because it only does it to like zones this card points to. Uh which it wouldn't point to anything if it's off field, obviously. Uh but now they're gonna go link off, make oh, okay, they're gonna make silhouette rabbit and then rabbit effect, go ahead set angel statue. And then sequence effect to equip to Magnum the Reliever. And then pass turn. Uh, draw Ghost Ogre. Yeah. And... Okay, that's fine. They already normal summon the Lurry that turn. So they weren't able to normal summon out Sword Knight. Uh, so they're going to go main phase. Activate Engraver effect. Discard. Go grab out Trax. So I'm guessing we're going to try to Ghost Ogre DDD. So that way it only has one negate on it. Uh, then go activate Trax. Add Lurry. Discard Lurry. Lurry effect to summon itself out. Sure. Bring it out and then go up into Requiem and then Requiem effect. Then they DDD to negate it and then chain Ghost Ogre. Uh, sure. I mean, that's still like fine for them. Still going to negate the Requiem and then go one for one. Discard Ghost Ogre. Bring out the Samsara D Lotus. And then on that, uh, they could go activate Angel Statue to special and then Magnum the Reliever to pop. Well, I guess you probably just activate Burfoment, right? Yeah, you probably just banish Burfoment to try to summon back out the evil hero. And then the evil hero is also nice because, like, you know, it's going to be a body again next turn. Like, it's going to summon out an additional body. Uh, so they're going to go banish, try to summon out, then Magnum the Reliever, pop Samsara D Lotus, bring out evil hero so that way they can still have their angel statue set up. But they also have the MST, and the MST is, you know, pretty decent against this deck. And, you know, in this scenario, being able to pop Nightmare Pain, even though Nightmare Pain doesn't do anything. Uh, they're going to go Engraver, shuffle back the Lurie, special summon itself out, sure. And then Requiem effect to equip, and then effect the send. So out the Rabbit, out the Requiem, normal summon out Ash Blossom, activate the statue. So if they link, we can negate it. If they go Battle Phase, 
try to attack over it won't work because it has 18 and they already went through requiem to boost attack and even if they did then you know the engraver would be sent to graveyard and they wouldn't have any plays because the statue would pop it on the game two now we're going to see Ubel go first. We have Shavara, Anti-Spell, Judgment, Nightmare Throne, Lurie. They have Engraver, Molcharmy, Cornfield, Gazelle, and Polly. Okay, so they're going to go Standby Phase, drop the Molcharmy. And then we're going to go Main Phase, Activate Nightmare Throne to go Destroy, Spirit of Ubel. I was going to say, I guess we could have added Samsara D Lotus. Uh, but this is fine too, because then we're able to set up Phantom and then Normal Lurie. So, yeah, bring out, and then just put back, bring out Phantom and U-Bell. This deck doesn't really play hand traps, like Mulcharmy, like sure, but they don't play really hand traps to draw into. Oh, we're just going to set and pass. Okay, so we're not going to try to, you know, use our Lurie to get into Fiendsmith stuff, set up DDD by giving them one draw, which I think is crazy, right? Like, you give the opponent one draw, you get to set up, like, a really solid end board, and then you have Anti-Spell behind it, and Judgment. Like, I, I feel like that's an auto win. Uh, they draw Evil Hero there. Like, I'm trying to play for, like, you know, nice follow-up and stuff. Be able to end the game next turn easily. Uh, but activate Anti-Spell. Then they're just going to go Main Phase, Cornfield into Sword Knight. And then Normal out Gazelle. Gazelle Effect. Grab out the Chimera Fusion. Set to Pass. Draw Dark Beckoning Beast. Now we're going to go main phase, normal summon out Dark Beckoning Beast, effect, grab out opening, sure, uh, it doesn't do anything, we're under anti-spell, so now Shavar to pop Phantom of Ubel, because then we can get Nightmare Throne, also, I have a runny nose, and it's, it's making me mad, it's making me mad, I don't know, like, I'm not sick, but like, maybe I am, I don't know, uh, Shavara pop special nightmare throne add spirit of Ubel special spirit of Ubel spirit of Ubel effect get access to nightmare pain that we also can't use this turn go up into Yama Yama effect that's gonna grab back the Shavara battle phase Yama to attack over the gazelle and then we're just gonna go main phase two link off into a soul of rage okay put back dark beckoning beast plus spirit of Ubel Bring out the Phantom, and then just go ahead and pass turn. They draw Edge Imp Chain, so now go main phase. Activate Polly as the first action. And then Polly's going to use Sword Knight plus Evil Hero, summon out Performa. And then Performa effect to go dump. And then that's fine, so they can just go ahead. I'm not even sure what they're going to dump here, because uh, they already have Evil Hero and Graveyard. They could dump the Master Toe, but they're actually just going to go ahead and dump the Diabolical. Okay, and then no effect to add back. Uh, now from here, we're going to go Evil Hero, Banish, go ahead and summon out the Adjusted Gold, which I don't even know how I feel about playing this card, because, like, you're going to have so many awkward cards in your deck, like the Gold, the Evil Hero, the Lurie, this, the Diabells, um, like, there's going to be, like, a good amount of awkward cards, at least they're all, like, you know, the correct type, uh, so you can use them with your fusion spells, but now we're going to go up in the Requiem, activate Chimera Fusion, and then bring out Guardian Chimera. And then now we're going to go Guardian Chimera 1, Edgem 2. So go ahead, search Patchwork. Draw into Big Wing plus Nightmare Apprentice. Pop Anti-Spell. Chimera Fusion Effect. Add back. Activate Patchwork. Grab out the Edgem plus the Poly. Sure. I mean, like, I don't know. Maybe we should just activate. We probably should have Psalm Judgmented the Chimera Fusion. But, like... Then they have SP set up still, so it's like, then what do you do? I guess you could solo rage to out the cards. They sword and negate, you phantom a U bell negate, but the thing is they have cornfield, so they cornfield at first. Yeah, that's tough. It's tough. I, I think this player really did make a bad mistake by not trying to play turn one at all. Like, I think they should have played a little bit. Like, give the opponent a draw, sure. Like, their deck doesn't do anything. If you have anti spell, phantom a U bell, judgment, maybe DDD on field, uh, but okay, and, and like we also could have just like went for engine two with Muckracker, uh, and then like brought back Spirit and then tried starting to do stuff there, or we could have just like Shavara popped Phantom, but you probably just want to combo like next to Phantom instead, uh, just to play it safe. Uh, then they're gonna bring out Engraver Requiem effect to equip, yeah, and they literally just submit the feet. Uh, yeah, I mean ha having like the fusion on field with Cornfield and Sword Knight Engrave, I mean that literally like perfect counters the two cards on fields like these cards just didn't do anything uh so all he had was judgment but yeah they just messed up for sure uh could have played it better could have played it better but you know you learn from their mistakes i think some people are too afraid of mole charmy 
I think that's, like, one of the better parts about this card is the fact that, like, it applies constant pressure for the turn, and... I don't know, some, like, a lot of people don't have, like, a game plan going into this card. They kind of just wing it every time. I feel like you should have, like, a consistent game plan. Like, this is when I play, this is when I don't. Uh, you know, or, like, a hand like this where it's like, oh, I have a Floodgate versus a deck that doesn't play hand traps. Okay, I have a Phantom of U-Bell. In case they somehow happen to play a hand trap, I will stop it. You know, they don't play a lot of hand traps, so if they do draw another one, I will stop it. Uh, and then I just like combo, flip anti-spell, have a good enough end board plus anti-spell. I mean, that's just game. Uh, yeah, so they could just went for that. And then like on top of that, you have judgment too. So it's like, even if they draw like, let's say you just go for DDD, right? Just because I know you can get to that end board very easily without thinking about other combos. And they activate like Book of Eclipse. You can just judgment negate. And then you still have like DDD, Phantom of U-Bell, anti-spell. That's like good enough to like stop the opponent. Uh, but yeah, that is going to be it for the match. The match was about 24 minutes long. Uh, felt like a pretty quick game to me, to be honest. Uh, but with all that being said, the DB Grinder signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.